Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another tutorial for you guys in this beautiful game called KSP Global Space Program. So today we are going to the moon. So, what do you need to go to the moon? Well, it's pretty easy. You need a rocket, of course. A rocket. So, I'm just going to explain all this stuff and it will be pretty damn awesome. Okay, so let's go into the VIB to build a rocket. But first I'm going to show you guys the planet. It's called Kerbin. And I installed a mod. It's pretty cool so you can see the clouds and all that stuff. Normally there are no clouds. Oh, there's a planet. Oh, another planet. So, of course we have the moon and Minmus. So today we're going to the moon. Or moon. But it's actually called moon in this game. So as you can see there are a lot of planets. But we are going to keep it simple and go to the moon. Okay, so let me just go back and go to the VAB, the Vehicle Assembly Building. So what we'll need is just some crew pod to put the crew in and so they can land. But first we will need, uh, how's it called? Well, a pod, Mark 1, just a small one. We only need one Kerbal, that's how the little puppets characters are called, Kerbals. So let me just take a cool one for just one person. So I like to start by making the lander itself, then the launching stage and all that cool stuff. So as you can see over here this is the science thing but we won't need anything of it because it's just for the career mode and I'm playing in the sandbox mode because I like the sandbox mode pretty damn much. So. What should I add? Docking port? Nope, no docking port. I shall take a parachute. Shall I? No, I'm not going to take a parachute. Of course not. Who needs a parachute on the moon? Oh, well, there is no air in the moon, so you can slow down. So I'm just looking for something to put on it. Hmm, what should I take? Should I take something long, small? I don't know. I really don't know. Um. Hmm. Let me just take. Nope, not a small one. Yeah, maybe. And of course, I'm going to add some lights. Where are they? There they are. I'm going to take the small lights. When you press X, you can use a symmetry. And now you can press W and all that stuff to rotate it. I think it is W, A, D, S, and E. Oh, I don't need eight lights. I only need four. So I'm rotating again, just to show you guys, W, E, I mean you press Shift, W and E, it'll make these little tiny adjustments and you, when you release Shift, you will rotate like one fourth, so it's pretty cool, sideways, sideways again, inwards, outwards, so we don't need eight lights. So now for the lander itself, we will need some fuel. Of course we need fuel to land, and of course landing legs. But first we're going to add RCS. This is a short pulse rocket thing, it's just to control yourself in the air, in the vacuum air, because there is no air. <laughs> and this reaction wheel is just to rotate big space, space stuff and space rockets and all that cool thingamajiggies. And I need, of course, some ladders. But you can also add these extendable ladders. And you can make action groups for them. So let's say you press 1 and this ladder will go down. So I hope this tutorial won't be this long. And I think I'm going to cut it up in two or three pieces. Just going to the moon, landing on the moon, and returning to the moon. Uh, from the moon to. Kerbin, that's how the earth is called. So as you can see here I'm just adding some tanks for fuel and I think I'm going to add a larger one. I think hmm, what should I do? Well this is the rocket engine, the reaper engine and this is a big ass one. It's pretty damn big. Hmm. But I need a small one like this. It's perfect. I don't need any anything else just for the rockets but I think I'm going to add just some more just some more fuel and some more rockets so let's use symmetry again by pressing X and just put it like this 
is it perfect? Hopefully it is. Why can I put these rockets down? Hmm. Well, it's weird. Come on. Nope. I'm going to. Yep. No. Why not? Oh, there, there we go. It's flashing green. I need, I need a green one. Come on. You can do it. Come on. Come on. Hmm. Let me just try and. Hmm. Oh, I had it. No. Hmm. I need to move him. Yep. There we go. Now put it in the middle, please. There we go, perfect. Hmm. But it's off center. Yeah. Mm, like that, perfect. Okay. That is perfect. It's looking fine. But I need power also just to rotate my spacecrafts and all that stuff. So I'm going to add some power. I need some. What do I need? Batteries. Of course, batteries. Let's take the large batteries, put them down. Pretty cool. Yep, I need solar panels also to generate the power. You can also use a generator, which I hi highly recommend because when you don't extend your solar panels, you can, well, drive, not drive around, float around into space without any energy. So, yeah, I'm just going to add these little ones, maybe, and these are the big ass ones, but I don't need them. I need just the small ones. So you have two types of solar panels, by the way, as you can see. I use these because they are my favorite ones. They extend pretty damn long, and the other one isn't that long. But they generate even equally. The power they make is equally, so... So, nope. Too small. Hmm, these are good, I think. Yeah. You also have these big ones, but they are just too big and just too much mass. So, of course, rockets have... A decent thrust ratio so but you cannot put like 100 tons into space that's maybe a bit too much so I just want to reduce the weight on my lander and yeah so now I like to add just this little extra stage to thrust to the moon and slow down so it is pretty cool and I do recommend this because otherwise you don't want to fall without any fuel on the moon when you're like at 100 meters a second. It's pretty damn fast, so you don't want to do that. You just want to take enough fuel. You can waste some fuel if you want to. So I'm just going to add. Should I add the, the orange one? Hmm. Mm, just give it, give it a name. What shall we call it? Hmm. Then it's Enterprise. That should be good. Enterprise. Come on, you can do it. There we go, Enterprise. Hmm. Save it by clicking on the third icon from the left. Well, just the center one. <laughs> okay, so what am I trying? Just put it up, just a little. Okay, now I can add the tank. Yes, I can. You can also add a bigger tank. Well, I, yeah, not this one. Um, it's just a bigger one, this one. You put it down and like that so you have more fuel for your engine <coughs> excuse me um, so I'm going to use the big rocket not the small one we need some serious thrust to go to the moon of course through damn far away from Kerbin okay so now I'm going to do something called asparagus staging first let me just save so asparagus staging is pretty efficient but First, let me just strut up my whole lander. Struts are just to make your lander a bit more powerful, let's say. Not powerful, but when you crash, the chances are it won't just explode. And when you are going to space, it won't wobble around, all that stuff. So it's pretty useful, but it's kind of a must, actually, when you're going to somewhere. Just when you have too much trust on your diesel rockets, you need struts. So, what was I talking about? Asparagus staging. So as you can see, you just use five, wait, six symmetry, like this, put it down. These are the decouplers, so when you press space, they will fall. So, I just want to do it like, when you press space, two tanks will fall off, which are empty, of course. When you press space again, the other two empty ones will fall off. Of course, they're empty again. And then, for the final 
space pressing, they will fall off the last one. So let me just add just a more fuel, just to be sure. Okay, there we go. Everything should be good, hopefully. Hmm. And always add struts, because it will bubble a hell of a lot. But first I'm going to add these, I don't know how they're called, and let me just launch it. Of course I forgot the struts, god damn. But I'm going to test it out, oh, there goes gravity, yep, I died. Oh, well, I died. Revert flight to vehicle assembly. There we go. This should be good. Okay, so as I said, I need struts. There we go. And as much struts as I need. Can there be not enough struts? Inside, there we go. Just for the extra strutting. Hopefully, this will go right. Hopefully. Come on, you can do it. There we go, perfect. Okay, so I am looking at my timer and I am recording for 11 and a half minutes right now. But I hope you guys are still with me. And I hope you really want to go to space. Well, I do, of course. Why not? Space is awesome and the moon is even more awesome. So, these lines are called fuel lines. And as you can see, I'm just hovering around these tanks just to say. When I press space 2 will fall off, press space again, 2 will fall off again, and I want to, these last ones, these are the last tanks to fall off, and I want these two tanks to put the fuel they have into the middle one, the center, but I'm going to, to change it, just like this, and this will be the last tank to fall off, and all the fuel will go to the center one. Okay, so these three aren't done yet, because I need to well stage the um, house quality couplers just to do the perfect stuff because when I press space right now all six will fall off and I don't want to do that because the engines will be firing also okay so let me just yep connect them this one to the last one and this will be the last one to fall off together with the other one the opposite one and this one will face into the center one okay so now for the decouplers, I hate this part, I don't know why, but I really hate this part. Because, yeah, I don't know, maybe it's just a stupid part. But I just noticed something, when you press right click, you can limit the fuel that you're carrying in these tanks. Which is pretty stupid, why would you do that? I don't know. But as you can see, right here I have six tanks, I need to add three groups, so two by two. And now I'm just sorting around these decouplers. So I want to, well, I want to fall, I want to ditch this tank first, together with the opposite one. So I'm just doing that. Okay, there we go. Now for the other one, this one, to the second stage, and this one. So now everything should be good. Asparagus staging is done. So why should you ex asparagus stage? Whoa, hate that name. So it's pretty damn useful. It's pretty damn efficient. You won't waste a lot of fuel. So I just drag this one around just to make sure I have enough fuel and all my six engines, seven engines, excuse me, will fire at the same time. So the middle tank won't run out of um, fuel because all these tanks will fuel each other. So, I'm back and I just added these little tanks, these boosters, slot boosters, so I'm just going to launch. These effects are really spaced out. So as you can see, I just pressed SAS just by pressing T. So, as you can see, these are just running out of fuel. I just made a mistake, but it's nothing really. Doesn't matter. So I just pressed space twice, so to drop them. And I am really turning around, just sped it up like four times and I'm really turning around, it's pretty damn stupid, but I'm getting there. So as you can see, this arrow, this blue, not arrow, this blue, um, how's it called, pretty damn cool thing, is just um, at 101 and is the epilapses and I really like to go to 101 um, because it really satisfies me in an orbit and I just made a jump cut. Um, 
So as you can see right now, you just want to go to the epilepsis, it's called AP. Um, this blue thing is just how you are flying. It's pretty cool, so just pr uh, press add a maneuver and you want to cir circularize it by pressing the epilepsis thing logo. So now it's pretty rough, so I'm going to adjust it just a little. Hmm. 130, what is it, 30? Hmm. Well, I need to adjust it, but it's rough and it's good enough to begin with. Um, so yeah, let's go to the blue marker. The blue marker is just for the um, where you should put your aircraft, spacecraft to boot, uh, to trust. Um, by the way, if you haven't launched yet, you can just press shift to throttle up and press X to just shut your engine right away down. Um, so I need to go to, let's say, 10 seconds. I need to burn 30 or 50, I just can't see it right now, 30. Um, but I'm going pretty damn well. I have these three engines left and I'm pretty damn high up. So as you can see on the meter up there, you can see I'm just falling down again, but I'm just circularizing my orbit so I can cruise around the world, Kerbin. So, by the way, these fins don't really have any effect in space right now, so if you want to, you can drop them when you're in space or something. Um, but yeah, I'm circularizing 400 meters per second to go. Almost circularize it. Almost. Almost. Hmm. Okay. 100 to go. Okay. So, I circularized my orbit and I want to thank you guys for looking at my tutorial and I'm going to cut it right here and I really hope you enjoyed it. So, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter and Facebook. Part 2 will be up soon. Um, we are going to the moon actually. So, uh, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. As I said before, you can also donate. All the links will be down in the description below. So, when that is done, guys, I will see you later.